welcome to the fifth episode of our Arunachal series. So day five, now we are leaving Tawang or Bombila. But while going to Bombila, we'll go to Tawang we'll visit, Monastery. Yeah, we'll visit Tawang Monastery and then head towards Bombila. So we'll show you our day today. Hopefully, you will like it. The largest monastery in India and the second largest in Asia, the Tawang Monastery is tucked away far from the reaches of the modern world in this quaint town of Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. Perched on top of a mountain at 10,000 feet, the monastery offers picturesque views of the valley and snow-capped mountains and coniferous forests. Established in 1861, the Tawang Monastery was founded by Merak Lama as per the wishes of the 5th Dalai Lama. It belongs to the Gelukpa sect of Buddhism. So this is Tawang Monastery. It's huge. It is not only a religious centre but is home to over 300 monks. The monastery holds 17 gompas in this region. There is a museum in the premises of the Tawang Monastery. In the first floor of this two-storey museum, one can find beautifully restored artefacts, masks, silverware, statues and holy scriptures up on display for public information. In the second floor of this museum, there are a series of photographs which talks about the changing dynamics between the Tawang Monastery, the local population, the state and the then Indian government run by the Nehru's. In the years following the Indochina War, Tawang underwent a significant makeover. In 1964, the Indian government sanctioned the construction of the Nehru Gompa Monastery to commemorate Jawaharlal Nehru's visit to Tawang. Nehru Gompa is a symbol of the new relations between the Indian state and the Tibetan Buddhist institutions that were forged in the early post-colonial period in India's northeast frontier. This is the replica of Tawang Monastery. The main temple is called Dukhang and it was built in 1860 and 61, the same time uh, the monastery was built and it houses an 18 feet tall statue of Lord Gautam Buddha sitting in the lotus position. क्या कर रहे हैं आप लोग हां लाइन बना रहे हैं 
तो ये लाइन से आप असेंबली लाइन असेंबली लाइन के लिए सुबह मॉर्निंग प्रेयर्स नमस्ते आपका नाम लामा जी चंबा आप कहाँ से हम कोलकाता से आज दो दिन है यहाँ तवांग में हाँ थैंक यू वन कैन इजिली गेट लॉस्ट इन द वाइंडिंग एलीज ऑफ दिस मोनिस्ट्री द मोनिस्ट्री इज एनसर्कल्ड बाई अ सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन मीटर लॉन्ग वॉल and is spread across a 135 square meter area apart from 65 residential buildings the main assembly hall a museum and learning center the monastery boasts of having a library of the 16th century which holds valuable collection of old scriptures Our next stop for today is the giant Buddha statue in the upper part of Tawang and it has an approximate height of 30 feet. The giant statue of the Sukhyamuni Buddha has two prayer halls underneath it and the hill on top of which it is located offers some great view of the surrounding. Topi. Ah, mamba. Yakka. Yakka bol yakka. Yakke. Topi hai na. We were privileged to meet a lady from the Monpa tribe wearing her traditional attire. Like me. Hey, police now to muke ke the. We are leaving Tawang for Bombila now. It's going to be 9 hours of travel. So it's 10:30 so we hope to reach by 7 7:30 Dirang district Okay west coming district Jayga ta hocche Podda amra ekhane dariyechi for lunch khub brishti porche ekhane and puro truck er line ami jayga ta ektu dekhiye di I'm going to have momos and thukpa right now Halo brishti pore jacche ekhono sokal theke brishti peyechi amra এটা আই গেস পপুলার রোড সাইড জয়েন্ট এখানেই সবাই দাঁড়িয়েছে সব গাড়ি এখানেই দাঁড়িয়েছে ফর দের লাঞ্চ আমরাও দাঁড়িয়েছি আমরা এখন বমডিলা যাচ্ছি বমডিলা যাওয়ার রাস্তায় 
এই ছোট্ট একটা জায়গা জায়গাটার নাম পদ্মা After reaching Bomdila, we have just come out to explore the Bomdila market, local market. There is a market in the Jinnish Pawa. Local souvenir is a kitchen hour plan. Let's see. An interesting fact to notice is that most of the shops in this marketplace are run by women. हर मार्केट में पूरा हुई है लेडीज हाँ लेडीज है कोई कोई में जेंट्स है वो अलग है अलग डाल और ये पापड़ है क्या पापड़ the northeast Indian cuisine uses a lot of dried mushrooms, vegetables, meat, pork, fish and milk products in their preparations. They say it is easier for them to store the food this way, especially for the winter months when the cities are totally cut off uh, due to snow. जो बचा हुआ राइस है ना वो राइस को गरम करके इसको एक तो दबा एक तो में डाल के इसको मिक्स करके एक महीना के लिए रख देते हैं वहाँ से फिर एक महीना के बाद खुलना है उसको आरा पूरा आरा जैसे कहना है बांगचांग बोलते हैं उसको बांगचांग आरा लगे और आरा आला के फिर बांगचांग आला के ओके हाँ पीने Color is different. This is white. 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 और ये क्या है दीदी ये ये चुरगम चुरगम हाँ क्या करते हैं कैसे करते हैं इसे गया में स्वीट खाते ना वैसे खाते हैं इसको ये तो नट्स है ये क्या है ये हम लोग यहाँ का अभी आप लोग जैसे नीचे तरह में चुरा लो खाते ना हाँ 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 यहाँ का लोकल चुरगम है ना हाँ चुरगी we just लिया है। कहाँ से लिया? ऊपर टेंपल से। हाँ। टेंपल से लिया। अभी आप इसको रखोगे घर पे? After exploring this humble market of the quaint hill town of Bomdila, we have now returned to our hotel to enjoy a warm and homely meal after the long day. If you've liked this vlog, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Show us some love by subscribing to our channel and keep watching our videos. In the next episode, we will take you around Bomdila and show you our way back to Guwahati. Our much-awaited Arunachal trip almost comes to an end and with a heavy heart, we will soon be saying goodbye to this amazing place. Hope we have been able to inspire you to plan a trip to the Arunachal soon. Till we meet again, hope you all stay safe and healthy.